But then you played against Kaios, and you took three stocks. And I was like, ah. Oh, snake's, snake's fine. Just rough game, I guess. But, uh, whoo. Azazel tore me a new one, though, with his Marth. I'm, ca I'm, ca I'm a little bit mad that I went Sonic first. I wonder if I would have been fine. Uh, like, could I have beaten his Olimar with my Marth? Had I gone Marth first? I thought about going Marth first. Yo, Zero Suit's actually kind of broken in this in this setup, Kai. I was not gonna lie, but only Loki, because she gets to use her her items in multiple games. If you assuming you win, if you win the first game, then she's broken. She's like amazing as a counter pick in that sense. Anyway, right off the bat, we got Fo we got Fox, <laughs> we got Marth versus Wolf. Coming in hot. Or sword pulling out the wolf. This matchup, I believe it's considered even. Um, I think some might argue wolf favor, but pretty sure from what I've hear heard it argued though, it's mostly even. I've only heard like one person say that it was wolf favored. Okay, so far. As Oz will get in an opening. Dude, his Marth is actually kind of fire. He's kinda tearing it up. Not gonna lie, he's, he's doing work. Oh, gets the F smash tipper. Cross stage doesn't even matter, dude. Post 100, you're gone. There you go, first blood for a Zazzle. Little dancing blade on shield. Oh shit. Yo, I kind of want to see a Zazzle make a loser run. It would be kind of hype if he wins. Like, I like, I like FS a lot. He's a cool dude, but. I kind of want to see his Ozzel win. Mostly because I lost to him, so it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't want to say, oh, I lost to the guy who got fourth, or like fifth, or seventh, or whatever the hell. You want to be the guy who lost in first and second place. <laughs> but either way, um, yeah, no, he's doing pretty well so far. 153, though, that's going to take his stock. Little tipper F smash there from Wolf here. Yeah, no, his Ozzel's been. Kind of fire right now. There you go, a little neutral air action coming through, 78%. Ah, greedy, a little bit greedy, holds forward towards the ledge, needs a back air, 10%. Nothing too crazy. But he just had a bit of a leverage going here. Ooh, okay. Dashes at him, but you can't pull, okay, so here's the nifty thing. Marth can't shield immediately out of dash like a lot of characters. He has like more frames of delay before his shield will come up when he's doing it out of the dash. It's really weird. I don't know. Like, you'll press the shield button and it doesn't come up instantly. Or, for most characters, it does. Anyway, first stock. First game going to Azazel. He's got a one stock lead. It's gonna be five stocks to four now. Or well, four stocks to five if you really wanna have the exact order there. But FS going Lucario. Pulling it out a little early. It's like, you know what? I, I kind of got a little bit washed. I'm gonna pull out the big guns. Let me see if this works. Three, FS is a very flexible one, player. Go. I think um, most people know him as that guy who just plays random in friendlies. So just play random versus everyone unless you ask him to specifically play his main. In which case, then he'll play Lucario. Um, but he's pretty versatile, so I'm a little surprised to see him pulling out Lucario. Um, as a counter pick, especially. The thing is, with Lucario, is he's stronger when he's up a stock, or when he's down a stock. Anytime he's up a stock like this, he actually has, like, negative aura. It's kind of bullshit. So he'll literally do less knockback than he would if they were on even socks. Um, but he does obviously do more damage when he's at higher percent, so... That's one thing that's cool about playing Lucario in this format, is if that... Let's say he loses one stock here, against Azazel's Marth, which, okay, so far he might not, right? But let's see if he does, then he goes into the next match and he has, like, plus percent, or, like, plus aura, because he's down a stock. So he, essentially, it's like 50 aura percent difference per stock. But so far, pretty even-ish game one, because, or game two, I should say. 131 on this... Uh, Marth. That might not be KO percent, though. 
In this situation, it, it could be, depending on the move. Not a lot of moves will KO, though, because FS is up a stop. If they were even stock, that up air would have killed right there. Anyhow, FS making the recovery here, though. It's a little bit of a tight spot. When you're 131 versus Marth, as Lucario, just about anything can kill us, as long as Tipper. Tipper neutral air, Tipper back air, up smash, Tipper down smash, forward smash, Tipper, no doubt. All these moves can KO. There you go. Down smash, non tipper still takes it. This is exactly what I was saying, like, I don't know if, like, counter pick Lucario is really the way here, just because of that, like, negative aura factor, but as long as he can take this game, if he can take this game, he's fine, right? Because, then okay, you have aura advantage going into the next round, so it's fine. Potentially. Okay, gets the F smash, there you go, 150, you don't even need the aura advantage for that. But there you go, now, he, now we have FS on his third stock, and uh, Azazel coming down to his fourth. We're gonna see who, what's gonna be the counter pick. Azazel says, I'm banning Yoshis. I do not know why he's banning. He just lost his round. He, uh... Yeah, it's all had a little bit of a brain fart there. He tried to ban when he won, or when he lost. No, Ripple. <laughs> just, I'm gonna just say no. It's really goofy. No. Anyway, going into the third game here. Again, three socks to four now. FS gets the SD his first stock. And that, you know, that might sound like a bad thing, and it, it kind of is, really, especially against Olimar. But uh, the upside here that he's got going for him is now he's got like a 50% aura advantage right off the bat. Now with 15, it's like he's got 65, which, you know, that's already, you can kill at reasonable percents with that much aura. So we'll, we'll be seeing FS has to, like, really make this count. If he plays it really well and can just avoid KO options, Obviously, you know, then he can rack up a ton of aura and start like KOing at unreasonable percent, especially against a lightweight like Olimar. You know, one F smash when you have like Olimar at 70 and you're down a stock and at 140, he'll die at 70, dude. He'll probably die at 50. Um, like, I think right now, even might even be KO percent just because it's like, yep, yeah, exactly. And that's the stock advantage thing that I'm telling you about. Where the stock aura, because he was down a stock, it didn't. It wasn't like he was really at 66. It was more like he had the aura of someone at like 120. It's kind of ridiculous um, in this kind of format. There's a there's a few janky things in this kind of format in general, but um, now that they're even stocks, you know, he doesn't have that that like aura advantage thing. Now he's just got 93. But a uh, pretty pretty solid close game thus far. FS in a real strong position if he can just hold on to that stock and rack a little more damage. You know, once he has the aura and he's got Olimar at the right percent, then he he easily exceeds Olimar's KO potential. But he's got a real tough spot for himself here. 125 is just about in KO percent. He's gotta get control. Az Az Azazel's done a real fantastic job of really maintaining control so far on this stock. On his second stock, on that first one, things were a little bit dicey. For the most part, he had the advantage, he like one neutral most of the time, but uh, FS just had the openings, like the big openings. Ooh, goes to the Aura Sphere, that would have KO'd right there. Full charge Aura Sphere at 150, on lightweight near the ledge, yeah, that, that would end the stock easily. And gets the back air, spaced it right. Your ledge grab, yep, that's gonna take it. It's gonna take it. Azazel kind of didn't. It didn't seem like he floated straight towards stage immediately. Maybe he was trying to avoid something. Probably back air. Goes for the ledge, but not quite in range for it. A little rough spot to be. Now FS on his last Lucario stock. You know, he's still got three stocks to give. Azazel only has two. The question is... Can Azazel take out this Lucario... Or is he going to get, you know, essentially two-stocked by Lucario who starts the game with what is essentially a 50% aura advantage right off the bat?
<clears throat> so far, right off the bat, FS gets his SD in, and here he goes, going for the side B chain grab, and gets a quick 39. Could have done a little bit more. Uh, Ninja, honestly, I think it would probably be fine, but... I don't know. I don't, the only reason why I'd be okay with it is because I don't see anyone playing DK right now. <laughs> I think if someone actually made DK, I would change the rule for that person because I would, I would hate to be in that position, honestly. Uh, literally a standing CG that leads to death. Nah, too good. I don't even play DK, but I just feel so awful for that person when it's supposed to be a for fun tournament, you know? Anyhow, though, so far, FS doing a lot of work. He got a lot of percent here on the snake. All he really needs to do to secure himself an advantage is really just take one stock. But if he can take even that, then he's still in a pretty good spot. Just playing Lucario gives you that power. The, just the power of aura, dude. Literally. You get so much so much damage. You get so much knockback. Like, the character just becomes infinitely better when he has aura. And right now, he doesn't have that stock advantage anymore, but it doesn't matter. He's got 96. 96 aura is plenty. It's not enough to kill anything, but uh, it's it's a lot right now. It's a lot, and definitely uh, he can put himself in a spot here. He can get the right reads. <laughs> Azazel call, trying to call out a roll there. He got a little stood in place. Turn around real quick. Are you behind me? Nah, you're not there. Okay, I'm going to do something else. Gets to the back here. Okay, 127. A lot of aura. Gets the grab, buffers the forward throw. Was also not ready for it. Doesn't DI it. But it didn't matter. Not quite have it. Not Ooh! Oh, oh, that was dirty. Oh. <coughs> it launches a charged aura sphere. Power shields it. Azazel gets too comfortable. Tries to run up and punish. A little back step there from Lucario. Avoids the grab and swa swags on him with the F smash. Quick boom, get out of my face, dude. That's going to be FS moving on, winning his set versus Azazel with three socks remaining.